Okay, so we're going to go over acrylic paint. Um, a couple of things about acrylic paint, by the way. Uh, acrylic paint actually uh, does have a little bit of um, a glossiness to it, uh, a little different than temper paint, because temper paint definitely is dry. Um, acrylic paint, you can definitely draw on top of. So, for example, if you wanted to um, put some details in with, pe with a pen or a Sharpie, for you not to trace with Sharpie though, um, but if you're putting other details in, you could, okay? Now, for this, you're gonna need water with petals, certain colors, okay? Um, you're gonna need uh, basically your, oh, let's go, white, brown, blue. I know this is not red. The red that I have, unfortunately, is more of a pinky, but we will all live orange and a little bit of yellow and the yellow by the way can be a bright one or a dark one it doesn't really matter okay um you will need all these different brushes okay um actually i am missing oh missing three of them hold on So we got a couple of different brushes that we're gonna use. So you're gonna need one of, of each one of these, okay? You're like, well, what are these brushes? Okay, so first off, the top ones are called rounds. How can we tell? Because they're, they're all different sizes. They round the top. This is angle. Okay. Because it's shaped on angle. This is Filbert. <laughs> Excellent name, right? Um, it's so cool. It's it's just basically like a flat, but it's got curves. This is a fan, because it looks like a very good fan. The last row is called flats, because the top is, yeah, I know, I know, seriously. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna learn how to control our brush and create some of these marks. Okay, so we're just gonna go through and just try them out. All right, so first one, and by the way, you can use any colors. It really does not matter which color you're gonna use, okay? Don't forget when you're using your water container, wash, rinse, always have clean water, okay? If you need to dry off your paintbrush in between, that's absolutely fine. All right, so I'm gonna hydrate my paint, add a little bit of water to it so it kind of makes it a little bit more smoother. Okay, and I'm gonna give it a go. So it's pressing down. Hurt. Pressing. Hurt. I'm not so good at this. I guess we both need practice. So I'm gonna make it nice. Hurt. Okay. All right. Next one is kind of just like more brushes. So that's cool. Small details. All right, that one's right up my alley. I can do that one. Beautiful. Ah, this one. I love this one. This one's a little bit trickier, too. Starts off skinny, fat, skinny. Let's see how many we can do. Eh, not so good. Hopefully yours is a little better than mine. There we go. Not bad. Okay, so those are our rounds and what they can do. All right, so let's check out this angle. The angle, all right, so I guess she can do um, kind of cool things. So the way it kind of looks like is that, that there's only a little bit of paint on a little bit of the side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm only gonna put a little bit of paint on one side and I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, wow. It's really good at um, making these little lines. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Too much, too much water, too much water. Kind of makes these like little smooth lines. Kind of cool. All right. Not bad, not bad. Kind of, kind of really cool. Definitely different than I think the flat, because the flat you can't go around the corners just as easily. Nice and smooth. Filbert, oh, I like this. I like that. That's almost like it'd be a great dog name. 
All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit, and they're just little, little, little lines. Oh, that's so perfect. I love this. I'm, I'm loving Filbert. Very cool. Okay. Next, we got our fan. Do not fan yourself with the fan. It won't do well. All right. So I think that fan, what that is, is just lightly tapping it, okay? Like kind of like going nice and light, all right? So you can kind of see the way it shapes. It always like sprays out. Um, how do we fix that? You know, I think if we reshape it before we use it, it might give us a better thing. All right, so that's kind of like that, nice and light. Next one, oh, so this is, this is where we get those trees, Bob Ross trees, gotta love them. So I start off with my paint, okay? I'm just gonna kinda go on the edge, okay? Then I'm gonna widen it, widen it even more. Get to the top, I get a little. from using a lot of the brush to a little bit of the brush. Cool. Yeah, I think it probably even gets fancy. Add some extra colors onto that too. Kind of looks like a tree. You're like, oh yeah, it kind of does. Cool. Okay, so let's go into the flats at the bottom. I really like flats because I find that I, you know, definitely easy to control with. There's a couple of different sizes there. Um, so this one is kind of looks like it's really light, like it's not really touching the, the paper. Ooh, that's really cool. Solid color. Yep, that's an easy one. Check that off our list. Other one looks like it's half on, like they didn't put a lot of paint on this one. All right, so let's let's give that a go. There we go. Paint's only on part of it. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. It kind of blends itself. Ooh, love it. All right, and then just applying paint. It's like kind of rough. Cool. All right, so we can see that brushes. They clearly do all different things, which is awesome. Um, you kind of need to say, hey, what am I going to use this brush for? and go with the one that you think well, it's gonna work, for, work best. All right, so we're gonna flip the page. We're gonna talk about the three ladies, okay? These three ladies, um, they definitely need a makeover, okay? You're probably like, well, um, all right, wh what are we gonna be doing? Are we actually going to be cutting their hair? Nope, we're not cutting their hair. Um, they need new foundation. I know the guys are like, what is foundation? It's just the color for their skin. Okay, um, if you don't get the right foundation color, let me tell you, it looks awful. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually mix a couple of colors here, okay? Now, as we all know, skin tones are different between everyone, okay? We have very light to, you know, very dark, and they're all beautiful, I love them. So, how do we make them? Well, we're not all gonna make them all one way. So let's start off with white and orange, okay? Now one of the things about white and orange and when we mix colors with white, we start with what color? I'm glad, hopefully you didn't say orange. Okay, so we're gonna start off with white and we're gonna build that color. So what are we gonna build? Believe it or not, it's gonna be peach, okay? So I'm gonna put my white, I um, already grabbed, look at that angle, a little bit of orange and I'm just gonna that in. Look at that. Okay. And we're going to paint our lady. She's beautiful. All right. I'm going to actually go right over her eyes. It's okay. Don't worry. She won't, she won't be upset. Okay. So we have one color. Very pale. Okay. So the next one, we have white, orange, and brown. All right. So now we're going to Let's see how that works. So we're gonna go a little bit of brown, teeny bit. Can you see that? And I'm mix it with my color palette over here. Ooh, 
it's starting to get a little bit dry, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Ooh, that just hydrated so nice. Okay. Ooh. I think I put too much, but you know what? I like that color too. So it all kind of depends on how much white, how much orange. Yeah, got, I'll go in there. All right. Give her a go. Beautiful. It's kind of like, um, believe it or not, they're all sorts of colors. They're, so if you ever feel like going down the makeup aisle, we got like fair, pale. Um, there's um, nude color. Okay, that kind of feels like maybe a little bit darker. Um, all different ones, so which is cool. All right, so probably going to me like going, what is this combination? That combination makes, looks kind of familiar to brown. It is. Okay, and depending on how much of each one of these, we'll change it so it's a different brown, okay, and plus white. So we're going to try to make our own kind of brown, all right? So this one, if we kind of look at this combination, this is more orange plus brown. So if we know that this is to make brown right here, okay, so I'll write that this is the equation for brown. So when I looked at this, you were like, oh, that had more orange. Yep, basically. Okay, here we can also change it so it has more yellow, or if they feel like someone has a little bit more red in their um, skin, more red. So I'm gonna try to go equal amounts. So I'm gonna have red, which is really my pink, um, yellow, and thin. I'm gonna make a nice brown. And if you feel if it's too one color, like let's say all of a sudden it turns green, Okay, so like right now, mine's turning a little green, okay? How to make that not happen is look at the wheel, the color wheel above my door, okay? Look at the color, so if it says green, look at the opposite of green. What does it say? It says red. So I need to add a little bit more red, and believe it or not, it will balance it out. Hey, that's a nice brown. Oh, that is like, that's beautiful. I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Oh, there we go. Now, I can lighten this up as much as possible, or I could just make it as dark as possible. All right, lady. I feel like I wonder what would happen if I gave it more of a yellow. What would yellow? Hmm. Let's check that out. I'm gonna put it on the side. Yellow tone. Be like, all right, all right, all right. That looks good. Hmm. Well, what happens if, like, you know, like my my hands are kind of like a little reddish? All right. Well, let's let's give that a go. What if I had a little bit more red in this one in the corner? reddish feel to it. All different colors, which is pretty cool. Okay. All right, so now we had to make skin color. So no more bright orange people. People. Okay, so now you can make reasonable colors for makeup. Okay. Yes. All right, so last one. We're gonna paint this. It's gonna be beautiful, and we're gonna apply a lots of different things onto this, okay? Um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do over painting, we're gonna do a hard edge, we're gonna talk about different ways that we can blend and different surface treatments, which is pretty cool, okay? So first thing, we want to do gradation and blending, okay? But there are gonna be a couple different ways that we're gonna do this. We're gonna like kind of divide this up. Over painting is the idea that we're gonna paint over something okay and go back to it paint back over so our first thing is we're gonna do our our blending and then we're gonna paint over it all right so I personally like working with a flat 
Um, I would suggest that you work with a flat or a filbert or maybe an angle. Okay, when you're doing this. All right, so I'm gonna hydrate my my paint so it's not so thick, and I'm gonna start off with streaking. Okay, no, this is not little kid running around. I know I, I say that all the time. These are like long lines. Okay, going up, fading out. And the next one, up. And what I do is I, so what I'm doing is I'm going wide, and then when I come back down, I go thin. Okay. And if for some reason you're like, I don't, that went too much, just go get a little water on your brush and you can pick it up. Okay, so I just picked that little thing up. I was able to do that. You're like, w w w how did you do that? All right. All I did was, I'll do it one more time. All right. So I kind of like hydrated my, my stuff first. I went up, got to the next paint. Added more. Okay. To the next paint, added more. And then I went back down. And they kind of just like mix together. Uh, they just naturally mix together because they're wet. <laughs> just pretty cool. All right. And yeah, notice I kind of painted over that. I'm not worried about it because I'm going to paint over that later. All right. Next one dabbing. You're like, no, please don't throw your hands up in there. I don't want to know. I don't want to see anyone doing that. All right, so this one's dabbing, okay. Change the color, same kind of deal. Go up. Notice that this looks very, you know, harsh. So we just kind of dab in between. Bring that up. Higher. Well, it looks too rough, so I'm just gonna carefully, very lightly, dab lighter and lighter until it comes down. Let's, let's even get, let's get darker. Ooh, brown. What? Beautiful. All right. It's like kind of Israel. You're like, well, I don't, I don't like that. Well, what did I say? Wash off your brush. Get it wet. Pull it up. If you don't like it, just, you know, pull it up and then bring it down. And all I'm doing is I'm taking and making it watery. Bring it down. Beautiful, right? All right, last one. It's going to be smooth. Um, uh, honestly, you can do any of these, and the last little technique makes it smooth out, all right? So, um, what do I do? I'm going to do dabbing, because dabbing was kind of fun. Okay, so we're going to do dabbing, and I'm going to move fast, okay? All right, kind of go here, up here. Uh, ah, I forgot my orange. Let's put my orange in here. Okay. Like bring that down. Go back up into the browns. Okay, cool. All right. Now, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another brush. Okay. And I'm just going to just smooth it out. <gasps> no way. Yes, this works. Okay. And all I'm doing is I'm just nicely patting the surface and it smooths out. Isn't that cool? It's like magic. All right. So we have all this. Um, you're like, well, now what do I do? Well, now we need to do all this little space. Okay. Uh, you can do this with a flat. You can do this around. And this is that whole idea of overpainting. Overpainting should be done over dry spaces. Okay. So a hard edge is when you have a nice clean edge like this. Okay. This is not like I went and I painted in here and I'm trying to paint around it. No, this is like nice, clean, controlled brush. Okay. It's pretty cool. Well, as you can tell right here, it's a little bit of wet. Because what happens with wet, it picks it up and all of a sudden it starts to, yep, you got mix. Okay. So we have that beautiful. All right. So we have that. So we've got streaking, we've got smoothing, dabbing. Well, what's all this other stuff? Well, okay, dripping. How can we how can we make something drip? Well, all you're gonna do is you're gonna really hydrate the color. Hydrate it. <laughs> hydrate it. Okay. Take your paper, pick it up, let's drip. 
some people like this look. They like to make it look like it's kind of going someplace. Okay, and you can kind of direct this down, all right? So let's say we didn't want this to go off the page. What you do is you take your brush and you kind of like soak up the water. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm soaking up the water and dabbing it off somewhere else, okay? Pretty cool, right? So that's one. Um, splatter. Okay, people. First off, I don't want you flicking this. Please don't ever do that. It is all about controlled. You know me. I like controlled stuff, all right? Not big messes. All right, so how do we do flicker? All right, let's get on the flicker. Um, splatter. You put your paint on your brush. Get a little bit wet, okay? Hold it back, and then you just kind of put it where you want it to be. Yes, you're going to get messy, all right? If you don't want it in a certain spot, cover it. Absolutely fine, okay? Um, and last but not least, palette knife. Oh, I forgot to get the palette knife. Hold on. Boy, I'm, I'm totally prepared on this one, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, by the way, palette knives come in all different styles, okay? So they come with... Uh, as you can see, different, different shapes, okay? I'm gonna show you with this one. All right, so a lot of people love the fact when, um, uh, let's go back to Bob Ross. He just does this really cool technique. He puts, you know, scrapes it on. I wanna show you. So we're gonna kind of like make this look like it's gonna fade out. So I'm gonna get a little bit of paint, okay? A little bit of paint, all right? Just like a little bit. And all it is, is it's pulling it down. Sometimes people like this look. Okay, you can very carefully hold on the edge and have it just barely touch the surface. Now, how does this work? Well, sometimes you can just catch the edge of the paint, the dry paint that's under it. Some, um, you know, I've seen people who it's tasted when it's wet and they're actually pulling it down through the wet paint. Up to you, okay? So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. You can just make different marks with it, which is pretty cool, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have done quite a bit, okay? Um, please make sure, um, one thing I didn't make mention, which was a super important thing that I forgot, was the use of the mess mat, okay? Um, I, I unfortunately didn't have one because it, it kind of overtakes from everything, but, um, and I bet you, you might not be using one right now, but if you are, excellent. If you're not, please wipe down the table, okay? All right, cleaning up. Remember, please, if you haven't, can't remember? Go back and figure out how to wash your brushes, okay? Wash out your container, all right? Um, this, by the way, goes in the garbage. If there's a mess, you wash this out, all right? Um, this is gonna go into your sketchbook. If it cannot fit in like this, absolutely fine to fold it over, okay? And put it in like this, all right? So put a little tape at the top, fold it over, good as to go, okay? And don't forget. Um, don't put it in your sketchbook before it's dry, okay? And that is it.